Who else has a question? <laughs> that's a that's a funny question because it's sort of hard to get bored in space. But I, I will say we do have free time, which is good because we try to keep it like a normal like work day and work week while we're up there. Um, not that you're really doing work; you're doing science experiments or getting ready for a spacewalk or you know doing a public relations thing or working on maintenance, like maybe fixing the toilet or whatever. So it's it's all sorts of different things that you're doing up there. But you do have free time at the end of the day because it is really good to, one, take a break and just sort of let your mind and your brain relax and let you relax. And so, and we also have free time on the weekend. Um, on the weekend, though, we do clean the space station. Remember, we don't really have anybody up there who's going to clean it, and people have been living on it since 2000. And so you really need to take the vacuum cleaner out and clean up the the hair and the little crumbs that are all over the place and things like that. So we do try to wipe it down, make make sure it's nice and clean for the next guy. But we have free time, so sometimes we watch movies on like Friday nights, a nice time to get together and try to pick out a movie that all of us would like to watch up there. Um, a lot of times we spend in the cupola because it's the most amazing place where you can just look out that window, look down toward the planet, and then the windows on the side where you can actually look and see the edge of the planet and look out into the universe. I mean, it's just spectacular. And you end up looking, you know, of course, for where you're from, trying to identify that. Of course, we've taken pictures from all over the world while we're up there. So a lot of people do photography as one of the things they do in their free time. Um, I know there's been a lot of pictures taken of, of where you guys are from right now. Uh, in Izmir in Turkey. Uh, we do a lot of our training in the Black Sea, as a matter of fact, so not too far from where you guys are. Um, and of course, I was in the Navy, so I spent time in the Mediterranean, and so you want to find places that you've been before. Another interesting thing a lot of people talk about when they're looking out the cupola window or out the windows is, you know, you're looking for places that are close to home, but then all of a sudden you start to see weather patterns or seasons change. And so some of the natural phenomena around the atmosphere or interaction with the ocean, some of the, um, you know, the ocean blooms, how the ocean is changing, um, that's also very, also very compelling and interesting to be observing and watching. And then, you know, um, I wrote a journal and a lot of people wrote a journal while they were up there. Some people did some basics, uh, physics and science experiments while they were up there. So a lot of people have different things that they're interested in. You can, you can do that while you're up there, as well as communicate with folks on the ground. I had um, about 200 or so people that were real close friends and family that were sort of following my whole trip, and so I tried to cut, touch base with them. We also have a, a, the ability to make phone calls back to Earth, so just check in, and I wanted to see how my dog was doing, so I called my parents who were taking babysitting my dog, Gorby, uh, on the Earth, so I had to see how he was doing, if he was gaining any weight or how he was how, how he was doing. Now he's 15, so I had to check on his health and stuff, too. So anyway, um, so a lot of, you know, we try to keep things as normal as possible, but also remember that you're up in space in a really unique place, and so you can do a lot of unique things. <laughs>